Today I'm going to show you one more example of table partitioning in Microsoft SQL Server. I already done the theory and the practicals here. Uh, in, this is the first part and this is the second part. Today I'm coming with one more example like uh, with numbers I'm coming with. Uh, right now I'm doing the table partitioning on the SQL Server 2022. Okay, now I'm creating one more database called text. So now I'm, you, I'm going to create uh, like five file groups 5g01 to f206 if I done that is it is done okay now you just uh, come here and go to refresh go to select test and go here and click files uh, file groups see I have file groups but zero all are zero now what I will do I am adding one more uh, one file group for each of uh, I'm adding one file for each file group so just like in the C drive okay and coming that and click execute so it is done now you come to refresh here and come show just uh, right click on properties uh, click on file group C FG01 is having five one file group up to file to up to 06 is having one file group, one file under that Okay, now I'm creating one partition function using the right range. Okay, the right range, uh, like first range, means up to thousand values will have to store in one file group. But we are using right, right? So up to triple nine, up to triple nine will come in first partition. After that, to another uh, thing like uh, thousand ninety nine will come into second partition, and like that it will go on okay now we will see that create partition uh, i am creating oh sorry i am creating in the uh, micro master sorry i want to create in the test okay and now i am creating the schema so first values come here second values come here third values fourth values fifth value remaining all which is not fall under this category will fall in the fg06 Okay, if you mention as a next file group as okay now I'm creating one table called custom EMP now I'm creating one loop what is the loop I'm declaring one I which is interior and we are setting that value as a zero and I'm starting the loop while zero is less than or uh, less than 10,000 obviously it is uh, zero is less than 10,000 right then it is going to begin the statement and it is inserting into custom EMT in the value employee date it is going to fetch the current date of that okay and in the ID column we have identity so it automatically will get that now once it is done again sir again we are setting the I value here zero plus one what is the current value current value zero plus one again it will come to here okay while uh, one is less than or 10,000 yes obviously 10,000 then it will begin the insert statement and it will uh, insert the current data value again what it will come the right it, it is one right so one plus one two again it is two is less than 10,000 again it will so like that it will loop up to 10,000 okay now click here click execute so I have done now if I see here I will get 10,000 rows if you see here I get 10,000 rows in the EMP table now if I see the partition function on the table so I got that number of records okay now if you see here up to triple nine all are in one partition if I see here See, see up to triple nine up to triple nine triple nine records are there in the partition one upon from thousand to triple nine okay what is the last uh, we'll see yeah see up to uh, second partition yeah up to one triple nine as I said previously it was in second partition because we are using range function range right function okay so like that up uh, 2000 triple nine it will be there in third partition 
like that it will be there up to go on like fifth four six like that so if i see here group by function so as of now we have using get date function right all are 2000 records to the if you group by fun uh, i am checking that how many years are there so as of now to uh, just i insert the get date command of today right that's the reason i get 2024 belongs to 10000 orders we have right now as of now so we have partition the table based on the numbers up to certain numbers will should go to this file group certain file certain file groups will go to that partition like that we have used the numbers as a partition and that to using the range write function okay so so as of now i have done that if if i this is the partition file group so that you will get one big so if i go to test here so so now it will tell that so right now i am done the table partitioning on custom table on the cust underscore employee table custom schema these are the file groups see if you see in the first file group i am having triple nine records in the second file group i have a thousand 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 five and thousand records i am having in the sixth file group okay so this is how you can get the overview if the table partition is already implemented in your organization so if you want to get any what was done by the previous dba this query was so helpful for you so that uh, you will get to know what uh, what exactly they have done and how many rows are there in that uh, respective uh, functions and scheme and rows on that so i hope uh, you may like this initiative uh, thank you bye